What is up my nerds of bagels and welcome to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare gameplay. So today guys I want to talk to you all about is Season 3 of Modern Warfare. So for anyone who hasn't seen the cutscene that was played then I will actually play it right now. So there's actually a lot of changes in season 3 and it was actually 11.729 gigabytes big. So that's actually fairly good for or fairly big for an update to be honest. So in this both Warzone and multiplayer the background has yeah, now well, changed. So it actually yeah, seems like better. we're now on top of the dam on the Warzone part of the map. So in the Warzone list it starts like this we have BR quads which is basically a team of four BR solos which is just you alone plunder uh, quads which I'm not sure if anyone actually plays this anymore I don't anyway and I've never played it because loads of people have said how bad it is so trios is just cut straight yeah, out yeah, of the game like it's just gone from the game completely so anyone who is playing as a duo in quads is gonna find it hard to win and i personally feel that they could have had solo duos trios and quads because some people won't actually have enough for a quads and they'd be like oh well we have three why can't we just play trios that's my personal opinion and i personally think that's what they should have left in the game as well so the weapons that are in loot boxes or they just spawn on the ground have increased. actually been increased so instead of having the likes of just the mp7 or yeah, a variant of the mp7 or an mp5 variant or a famas variant that's legendary or epic rare and all that and of course a yeah. few more you have the lmg and everything like that you have pistols Twitch, have actually gotten a few more weapons in it so no, you have you the likes of that. odin's that people are saying ax50s that everyone basically uses if m4s that everyone uses as well an and you probably have a lot more now of course different weapon variants them. and different weapon blueprints are the rare and uncommon common uncommon rare epic and legendary variants yeah. and of course they'll be blueprints as well because Jeez. they'll have different attachments and everything on them there's actually a lot in the warzone section but one that i found very good was that you can now tell how far your teammates are from you while you are in the match which i actually kind of like you know i really like this another thing is that they have fixed the gas mass animation interrupting and blocking players from deploying their parachute which is one that is very very much needed and i kind of feel like what they could do with the masks is actually have an option to have the mask on the whole time so your plane isn't like your player isn't doing the animation when you're running through the gas or if you just get out of the gas and you're taking off your mask and you're in a gunfight at the same time basically so if you have it on before say you pick it off okay, 
off the ground you put that on straight away and it doesn't actually yeah. take effect until the gas comes in and you're taking hits from the gas so the meter doesn't go down until you, the gas comes in which would be I think personally it would be the better idea and then if you have the gas mask on then you play yeah, with that underneath. on your face and of course you can take it off any time as well that kind of stuff would be pretty cool I think it'd be kind of like uh, night vision goggles where you can flick them on and off I think that's something that they could do uh, in in Warzone as well they also fixed a bug where players could actually be killed by vehicles without being near the vehicle so really all they did was just change the hitbox making them smaller and you know this was very very much needed because I've seen videos of people in trucks Only a small show. and they're just driving at like a wall or a building and somebody up in the second floor of the house actually dies from in the window because of the how big the Where hitbox is now reading through the list of bugs and hmm? bug fixes and issue fixes there are actually a lot of them and the majority of them are small so i actually won't talk about them now they have fixed a problem where players who oh, played mate, solo mate, mate, mate. were having where they couldn't <laughs> use their uh, self revive so. kit which you know obviously that was a a big Downstairs issue with people who were playing game. solo uh, me personally oh, it did not affect me because i don't play that but you know at least they're listening to the community another thing they did was they actually increased the price of a loadout drop within the buy station to ten thousand dollars so when warzone first came out i think it was around five to six grand for a loadout drop and then it went to about eight thousand five hundred and now it's ten grand so in quads that's understandable but in solos or duos it's gonna be kind of hard to see how this will work now of course i don't play solos or duos but i probably will be playing more duos now because the trio is being gone and you know it's gonna really oh, really upstairs, test upstairs, people because right you're gonna have to be looting a lot more you're gonna have to go to places to actually have a lot of money you're gonna have to get the assassination challenges or the recon challenges huh? or the uh whatever the other one scavenger scavenger uh, challenges as well like that's it's it's gonna be no, no, it, there's people they're gonna have a huge the very top of the there's gonna, gonna be a huge down. demand I mean, for a those challenges i can't say the fucking word so suck a dick they also remove blood splatter and screen shaking when you are being punched in the gulag so while you're actually waiting in the gulag for your turn you used to be constantly being able to be punched and you'd actually get blood coming up on your screen where you actually got hit and now they have actually removed that which is a good thing because it was really really annoying being in the game and being in the gulag waiting oh, and people are just coming up to you hitting and your guys making the oh, noise man. that you're being hit your screen is shaking and the blood comes up where you get hit and it was just uh, it was just so 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 annoying they also fixed the issue with the final circles occurring Downward. out of bounds or in undesirable areas so this is basically just saying locations that are out of bounds like the red barrier that goes around the uh, whole map or the circle being on the likes of mountains or even in on top of stadium where you actually can't physically go up there unless you have a helicopter or you dive in straight away you just parachute down to there and there's also a vehicle customization or vehicle skins and finally they have added a button that everyone wanted to get rid of the green boxes that would come up telling you that you have something new which was so annoying because if you had like a gun you'd have to go through near enough every gun just to find out which one has something new unlocked and i really really hate it and it pissed me off and i'm so glad that you press l3 on on ps4 left thumbstick i think it is on xbox i'm not really sure um and you can get rid of the notification and it just so good uh, that needed to be in the game from the start because it was so so annoying so 
moving to the multiplayer side of things yeah, there are three new maps coming to right season here. three of modern warfare these are backlot from modern warfare cod 4 the original yeah, now this is basically just a remastered years, map with years. some changes now i haven't played this yet and it will be fun to play next up we actually have is sawmill which i've seen a lot of people on yep. youtube and on twitter been you really bashing me. this and or not liking it and it'll be f you know i'll give my own impression after some time and there'll be maps of course there's maps in modern warfare that i hate playing as well atlas superstore is oh, one of them and of course there is other ones as well that i just can't even i don't even know the name of them because i don't play them and the final map is ang Anni. Ankina really Palace. I, I don't know how to really say it. This is basically know. just a smaller version of the There's original map, me. and seemingly people don't like this either. So, two out of three maps that people don't like, and backlots meant to be even more campier than the ones that are in the game now. Which doesn't look good for a launch of season three. So, for anyone who seemingly now this is for anyone who reached level 155 your level automatically goes back down to 50. now i sadly reached level 139 and i really was an arse just to stay up all night and just uh, grind it out for 155 people that killed you. and There's i wish i got 155 because i didn't in season one either and i went back down to 50 and i hopefully if you're in the 139 range hey, 120 Different. onwards you go back to 50 hopefully i don't know yet because mine's still copying here now of course there's new officer ranks oh, here, and challenges and also new I, uh, season three trails or trials as well i don't really know what they are to be honest i just reading it off the patch notes that they uh, have out they've also tightened the pellet spread here, on the slug six or mags for the model 6a thank god and they also decreased the ads spread for the shotgun shells which is good they also tightened the hip spread on the vlk rogue shotgun i don't use this shotgun the only shotguns i've used are the model uh 6ae and the 725 that's literally the only ones that i know of shotgun because i don't use them. finally then we have is the akimbo weapons ah, here, now this is a piss take. you you That's start sweet. with two extra mags of ammo instead yeah, of one which there. is good you i guess me. i don't use akimbo pistols i don't really use pistols gotcha. either and it's good for people that do i personally don't so the microtransactions these actually have a lot you so a if you buy the battle pass yeah, you get alex oh, straight away yeah. and a bunch of other skins as well in the in the battle pass and you also get two new weapons a pistol called the uh, Renetti and the SKS which is a semi-auto sniper that was Soviet Union and some more store items and of course you have the original go skin that will be coming in season 3 but it's not going to be coming in at launch it'll be later on in in the uh, life cycle of season 3 it'll probably uh, be midway know. through just to get people be like oh i need to get this now and everything like that and yeah that's the end of the video guys i yeah. hope you did no, like no, it if you did please hit the subscribe button there's a lot of people that are actually watching my videos that aren't actually subscribed so please hit the subscribe button right beside the subscribe button there is a notification bell you can no, hit no, that I whenever you can hit it now if you want and stay up to date whenever i upload or rare whenever i go live on the channel Speaking of live streams, I actually have a live stream channel on Twitch. Link to that will be in the description below as well. Once you are there, you can hit the follow button. Right beside the follow button, there is a notification bell. And you can stay up to date whenever I go live on Twitch. Yeah, we might as well for now. I also have a Twitter which I manually update whenever I upload a video or whenever I go live on twitch or even on my channel like and link to that will be in the description below as well you can follow that you don't actually have to uh, hit the notification so. bell when you're there on twitter because no i kind of retweet and like and sometimes comment on some tweets as well and most people don't really want to see that and it, it's really annoying i've tried that before with people and it's just constant constant twitter uh i don't know for example uh scum 
uh, scump tweeted this, scump retweeted that, scump liked this, scump replied to this comment, scump tweeted out this image, scump quote tweeted this image or this tweet and all that shite. But yeah, that's it guys. Hope you like, favorite, and subscribe and peace.